<laughs> Still pushing B. I won't give up on it. I don't care if my teammates are helping or not. Got guys on both corners there. <laughs> this guy just... <laughs> he had no idea where I was. Ooh. Whiff. Wow. Oh, <laughs> successful warm-up. Just putting in work right there. Pretty good shit. <laughs> I fucking love that weapon, man. Hello, Tarnished. <clears throat> no, I mean, hey, Guardians. Sorry about that. As my totally non-scripted slip-up may have alluded to, I've been playing a ton of Elden Ring lately. Like, I'm sure a lot of you have. Um, but I've also just been hella busy with personal stuff, my actual day job and career, which, if you didn't know, is not this. But yeah, I just haven't had a ton of time for Destiny content. And to be honest, there's not a whole lot of crazy new stuff that hasn't been covered. At least nothing that really excites me. Um... You won't ever see me making videos just to feed the YouTube algorithm for clicks with a constant stream of this build is broken and all these things, but let's be honest here. Are all these things really broken? Now with that said, I do have a short list of videos on my idea board, but I want to ask you good people. Are there any topics you'd like me to cover? Let me know in the comments down below if there's any particular video you'd like to see me tackle. With that all out of the way, in today's video... I'm going to talk about hand cannons in the Crucible and why I was wrong not to put in the time to get good with them. Because that's really what it all comes down to, isn't it? Getting good. Part of me shied away from hand cannons because, well, that's what all the cool kids are using, and I can be a little anti-establishment, but the real reason is I just wasn't very good at using them, not in PvP anyway. I've still got a Midnight Coup with over 16,000 kills, and as many if not more across multiple Fatebringers, but that's in PvE where enemies aren't darting around like schizophrenic bunnies on crack. There's a big difference between nailing headshots on dregs versus a bouncy boy hunter. So the real reason I shied away is because hand cannons are not forgiving weapons for someone with potato aim like me. If you're not getting headshots, or you're whiffing entirely, you're not going to win many 1v1s, which is why I always lean towards more forgiving weapons such as rapid fire pulse rifles and SMGs. All the while knowing very well how strong hand cannons were in competent hands, due to numerous factors, their range, flinch, and air accuracy, competitive time to kill, and unrivaled peak shooting capability. Not to mention, they just look and feel awesome. I mean, they're just so destiny. All these factors are why they will pretty much always be part of the Destiny meta. So then, why the hell did I change my mind and decide to give them another go? Well, I think partly due to boredom, but I also wanted to just challenge myself and see if my skills had grown since the last time I'd used one in the Crucible. While I consider myself an, an above average player now, I've progressed a long way over the years where I used to hover around a 1.25 KD, which is probably where I was the last time I was trying to main a hand cannon. But since then, I've accumulated a ton of experience, I've learned by watching some of the best players over the years, and now have a much better game sense overall. And that's everything from having better movement, map knowledge, playing your cover better, uh, knowing when to engage versus disengage, becoming more familiar with all the classes and weapons and so on. So, it was to my surprise that when I tossed on a hand cannon for the first time in who knows how long, I actually did pretty good with it. Now, I have a long list of god rolls to pick from, including Adept Palindromes, Fatebringers, Dire Promises, etc. But I went right for what has become my new ace in the hole, <laughs> the Ace of Spades. See what I did there? This weapon has always been at or near the top of the PvP meta since it was introduced back in Forsaken. This is not a weapon review, there's probably about 16 million of those by now. Um, but I just want to gush about how amazing Ace of Spades still is and why I prefer it personally over the best legendary alternatives. So the main reason a lot of folks run legendaries is because you can add Icarus Grip, right? For much improved in-air accuracy. That alone is a huge plus to running a legendary over an exotic, but as a Warlock main who mostly uses Blink now, hanging out in the air isn't really conducive to my playstyle. Um, now that means I have to adapt to opponents who are in the air, but that just means either blinking past corners to catch them off guard, or being a bit more passive and hanging back so I don't get caught off guard by an opponent jumping high around a corner. But Ace is still up there as far as usage goes. It's currently ranked number 10 most used in competitive playlists and number 6 in quick play. So while there are a few legendaries ahead of it in usage-wise, it's still certainly a popular and top-tier weapon, and for good reason. This gun feels amazing to shoot. 
and landing headshots feels incredibly easy. I think what made me put down hand cannons might have been Dire Promise or Fatebringer. I, I, I honestly can't remember. It's been so long. But I just could not get consistent shots with it. Um, but when I put on Ace, it just clicked. And I actually forgot Ace in the, sp Ace in the Spades. I actually forgot Ace had third eye as a perk, so your radar remains up while aiming down sights, which is invaluable in the Crucible. Of course, we've got Memento Mori for the extra damage when you reload after a kill, which can still two-tap as long as you have any other damage bonus, such as high energy fire or an empowering rift. But the biggest draw of all is that sweet-ass reload animation. <laughs> so I'm going to do something new for me and give a little commentary over some gameplay here. First things first. Here is my loadout that I took into Iron Banner the other day. I'm still drinking that Purple Void Kool-Aid with Slova Bomb, Empowering Rift, Blink, and Axiom Bolts, Aspects Chaos Accelerant and Child of the Old Gods, Fragments Expulsion, Remnants, and Dilation. I'm using the amazingly bad roll on Secant Filaments from the campaign. <laughs> I need to get a new one of those. Ace of Spades, my favorite Snorri, which if you haven't seen my video on that will be linked down below, and a Tarantula. Mods are the usual hand cannon, infusion targeting, unflinching, hand cannon dexterity, then charge with light mods, high energy fire, taking charge, charge harvester, with a double utility kickstart for high uptime on, on empowering rifts, as well as for proccing devour through the secant filament exotic. Okay, so the clips you've been seeing has just been, I think, maybe from five or six games. Um, that's about all I have to fit in in a day. I, I don't do this full time, so I gotta, I gotta find my windows where I can play. Okay, so this one is actually my very first match with Ace of Spades, and as you may notice, I will complete the catalyst at some point during the match. That shows how little I actually play with this thing. So this is my first Iron Banner match, I think, of the week. And I've only played a handful. Um, I am a big OBJ player. I play the objective. I don't usually run around the map trying to slay. I'm all about trying to secure zones and just area control, right? So this guy right in there, I'm trying to keep push back with the Axiom Bolt. Doing a little peak shooting here. This is probably the first time I've <laughs> done some legit peak shooting in God knows how long. I'm so bad about that. Um, as you can see, I had some off shots right there. Looking for some, some help from teammates here, but I'm the only person challenging B, it looks like. Ooh, some nice headshots on that guy. So now I got Memento Mori up. Some bad shots there. Teammate helped clean him up. <laughs> we got Maidenless Tarnished on the other team. That's funny. Ooh. Got a charge right there. We're still doing all right. Some crazy Axiom Bolts flying around there. Ooh, look at that. That Empowering Rift helped me so much on that. And it looks like I'm going to get cleaned up right here. Ooh, no. Somehow survived that. Ah, oh, I should not have peaked so early. Yep, I should have I should have regen my health before I peaked on that guy. That's okay. We're still up. We still got B flags. So I think I'm going to run back to B to make sure we keep that. Oh, no, they're picking up B. Did we not secure B? I guess we didn't. Hopefully the teammates clean up clean up that kill right there. Oh, no, I cleaned it up. Going to throw out that Axiom Bolt. I just, I check those things like as soon as they're off cooldown. They come back so quick, it's, you might as well just keep chucking them. Alright, now we got all three zones. Now we can go on a little bit of a slaying round here with the teammates. Oh gosh, in, in this map, I, I think I must have gone weeks before it actually came up for me. <laughs> I, I knew this was getting added. Oh, I'm going to pause it right there. I knew this was getting added, but seriously, I think it took like three weeks for me to see this map in rotation. Like, it's crazy. It's just the old maps over and over again, which most of them I, I can't stand. Uh, so, yeah, I, I think I, I get turned around a couple of times in here because I'm not too familiar with it. It's been, it's been a long time since I played it. Nice Axiom Bolt cleanup coming here. Yep. I'm not going to challenge that sniper. I don't know what the other guys got, but got way too many people looking at this lane right here. Um, yeah, see if that melee is going to hit something, but nope. All right, so now I proc Devour. 
Oh, <laughs> successful warm up. Just putting in work right there. Uh, I love that. I gotta see that again. That is such. That is such a good. This fusion is amazing, guys. It is so good. I mean, what's he do stuff like this? I mean, that's just insane. Let's see if I can get the cleanup on this third guy here. Uh, I'm gonna prod him with an axiom bolt. See where he's at. He's way out there. To cover behind. Wow, still managed to get that. Oh, there's the catalyst completion. <laughs> uh, but yeah, man, Ace of Spades just feels so nice. I... Ooh, whiff. Wow. Some bad shots on my part there. Uh, I wasted my... Uh... Oh, it doesn't matter. I had no other option. But I wasted my high energy fire on that shot. And, oh, I got pinched there from both sides. That's all right. And, yeah, I'm pretty sure I, I literally stay between A and B this entire match. I mean, I hate flipping spawn. I know Iron Banner, you are you get the bonus for capping all three. But I just I, I hate getting spawned behind and, and not knowing where teammates are, especially when we're not communicating. Like, oh, nice snipe. That was nice. Ginger snaps. Good shit. But yeah, I, I'm i more of a zone area denial type of player. Missed those shots. It was a little bit out, out of range. Yep, even there too. Only getting 16 for the body, 24 to the head there. So well out of range. Oh, wow. I thought I was going to get away from that guy. <laughs> Still pushing B. I won't give up on it. I don't care if my teammates are helping or not. Somebody's got to take it. There we go. Got guys on both corners there. <laughs> this guy just... <laughs> that was nice. He had no idea where I was. That's blink to its uh, best use right there. Just surprising people. Now we got someone coming pretty far here. Oh, there he is. Teammates cleaned him up. Let's see what's going on here. Gonna prime this guy with the Axiom Bolt. Oh, take the trade on that, I guess. Man, he must have had all headshots to get me down that quick. Unless I was still weak. Push him back. I will defend the B flag, damn it. Some nice headshots there. Teammate cleaned him up with a body from a sniper. Um, let's see what we got. Nice. Those are some nice headshots. Yeah, Ace just feels so nice. That reload is just amazing. I honestly don't know what it was before that was really holding me back with hand cannons. I think it's, oh, this is, this is interesting here. I don't know how this guy doesn't kill me. Like, he, like, went through me. I took him down to nothing, and <laughs> teammate cleaned him up with a melee, but, yeah, that guy, I think he just meleeed right through me. Yeah, way out of range for that fight. Definitely surprised I didn't die right there. Clean that guy up. Let's see, it looks like I got hits on both sides. Ooh, it's kind of a bad spot to be in right there. So looks like I'm going to circle back around to B, but I. Oh, yeah, it looks like there's something on B. <laughs> Those Axiom Bolts, man, they are something else. I got some teammates holding B down. I know there's some, at least one guy back there. Okay, so now they're coming from A side. Ooh, not get any of those shots off. 
go ahead and just toss that bolt out there, see if it hits anything. I know we got spectral blades on the field somewhere. I'm not sure where he's at. Ooh. See, that's the power of the empowering rift right there. Extended my uh, damage drop off immensely to challenge that guy. And now we got seaside spawns. I really love uh, the fragment dilation, how you get that increased radar accuracy. It's so nice. Oh, that was a nice melee. That was that was really nice. It actually did something for me there. Let's see if this guy's gonna Ooh. <laughs> Uh, peak shoot. It's just so cheesy but effective. Oh man, that was just disgusting. Oh, I feel bad for that guy. Let me go back and look at that again. I missed when that got cast. It's so right here. I hear it get cast. Toss the Axion Bolt. Hits both of them. Took out one of the guys because of double damage and then easy cleanup on the super. Man. And I feel like I just chucked an Axion Bolt too. They, they, they come back so quick. Thanks to Devour. Oh, map that guy with a fusion. I was right on the end of damage fall off. Let's see, I think we got another super right here. Yep. Sorry, it's just you, buddy, but... <laughs> try to use those as quick as I can so I'm not sitting on the super for too long. Yeah, got a couple of shots, but he's way too far for that. Ooh, definitely had a teammate behind me, so he had two targets to deal with. Took two shots on that guy. And they, they cannot really push through this middle here. They they pretty much stuck on A almost the whole game. Yeah, that was a, that was a pretty sweet match. What did I end up with on this one? Uh, 31 kills, 6.2 efficiency. Pretty good shit. <laughs> I fucking love that weapon, man. So hey, that was pretty fun. Uh, let me know if you guys would like to see more of these types of videos. I know I'm no Cami Cakes or Frostbolt, but not many people are. So I thought a commentary of someone more towards the middle of the pack with slower reflexes might be interesting to see. I don't know. But yeah, I think the moral of the story is don't give up on something right away. It might take trying out quite a few different weapons before you find one that clicks for you. Hopefully it doesn't take you as long as it did for me. I know I'm like two or three years late to the Ace of Spades party, but I am absolutely loving playing with this weapon right now, uh, pairing it with what has become my favorite fusion rifle, the Snorri FR5. So yeah, again, let me know what kind of content you guys would like to see from me in the future. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button if you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you on the flip side.